Bitcoin just had a massive surge within only 24 hours and now everybody wants to know what's coming next. Are we going to the moon or did we reach the peak and is that it for Bitcoin? A lot of opinions, a lot of speculations and even higher numbers are thrown at us from the news and social media every single day. So now what should we believe in? So in this video, I want to share some ideas thoughts and even moves from big leaders like Elon Musk, Kathy Wood, companies that are trying to use cryptocurrency as a payment method, um, other big news that probably help Bitcoin search and much more. Let's start with the most recent surge in Bitcoin that basically had the cryptocurrency gain 14% within 24 hours. A lot of news outlets suspect that the rumors that Amazon is going to use Bitcoin as a payment method is the reason why Bitcoin had that massive gain within only 24 hours. The speculation started when Amazon posted a job offer looking for a digital currency and blockchain product lead. This in itself is great news for anybody who believes in cryptocurrency because if Amazon officially announces that they are using cryptocurrency as a payment method, I think this will legitimize Bitcoin even more and more companies will be willing to just use cryptocurrency in general as a payment method. As of right now, there are no official statements that Amazon is going to actually use Bitcoin as a payment method, but an Amazon spokesperson told Yahoo Finance the following. We believe the future will be built on new technologies that enable modern, fast and inexpensive expensive payments and hope to bring that future to Amazon customers as soon as possible. Sounds promising to me, but still nothing is set in stone yet. More positive news for Bitcoin came from Elon Musk, who said that Tesla still owns 90% of the original Bitcoin that they purchased. That means they haven't sold a single one after that one specific 10% sell earlier this year. He also mentioned that SpaceX and even he himself owns Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. I think the fact that one of the richest people in the world owns cryptocurrency is a good sign for Bitcoin. Additionally, Elon Musk said that Bitcoin's environmental profile is improving, which if it keeps improving, Tesla will also um, allow Bitcoin as a payment method again. This again is not set in stone, but it's news that came up. The both of the news that we just talked about are basically speculations. Nothing is confirmed yet. That's just like what they're planning on doing. But that doesn't mean that Tesla is going to allow Bitcoin as a payment method. Neither is uh, Amazon. So for right now, I feel like that's just speculation. Don't get me wrong, I would love to see Amazon use cryptocurrency in the future, even Tesla and all the other companies as well. But that news, that particular news did not make me purchase more Bitcoin. Let's see what Kathy Wood did. Kathy Wood bought 450,000 shares of Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. On top of that, she purchased $43 million worth of Coinbase shares, which is also very Bitcoin related. <laughs> so she made two massive, very bullish purchases on different companies that are related with Bitcoin. So obviously she believes in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general, because otherwise, why would you make that purchase? I could be completely wrong, but that's just my interpretation. So all of the stuff that we were talking about right now happened pretty much at the same time, which could be the reason why Bitcoin gained 14% in just one day. I'm pretty sure we also had a bunch of people just buy the news and sell like a couple hours later and they made a good amount of profit. If you're one of them, congratulations. But here's my thought process and my prediction about Bitcoin. I already shared my thoughts on Bitcoin and the price target for the end of the year 2021 in this video. And I don't want to pat my own shoulder and say, good job, Johannes, you did it right but I was very happy and pleased to see the Bitcoin chart because a week ago I predicted exactly that move. Ever since I learned about the wick of distribution, I was obsessed with it and made sure that I fully understand exactly why big companies do that and how they do it so I can make a profit with them. After the wick of distribution, nobody was talking about it anymore, but I was like, now I feel like we are in the wick of accumulation phase and the Bitcoin chart was very close to that. But again, if you want to watch the full video, it's up here. I just want to show you this in the past video a week ago, I predicted this and this is what the Bitcoin chart looks like right now. Obviously, this gets me really excited because I did my homework and it actually paid off. 
But at this point, I also want to say that I'm not a financial advisor and this could be complete bullshit what I'm talking right now and a massive coincidence. So do your own research before you put any money in cryptocurrency, in the stock market or anything else. This video is just for entertainment purposes only. My current stance on Bitcoin and its price target above 100,000 by the end of the year 2021 hasn't changed a bit. And I still believe that a lot more companies will announce uh, the adoption of cryptocurrency within the next couple of years. I know a lot of you are probably waiting for me to say a very specific number where I believe Bitcoin will end, but honestly, I don't know. I really don't know. If I did, I would tell you, but I don't. I strongly believe that we will surpass $100,000 per coin, but it really depends on how many companies will announce that they're officially using cryptocurrency as a payment method because I, I feel like that's very important for the general public and for more companies to just adopt cryptocurrency as a payment method and then we'll probably can see an even higher Bitcoin. Again, I'm not going to say a number here. I, I really don't know. At this point, I also want to mention that I currently hold cryptocurrency, which um, I bought at different stages. I was basically dollar cost averaging into the market because we were on a downtrend and I never knew when we we're gonna go back up. At the same time, the cryptocurrency that I'm holding is currently generating me income interest, which is great as well. I think within the last month, I got $700 just in interest from holding on to my cryptocurrency. So if you have any cryptocurrency laying around, check out blockfi.com slash Johannes, because if you sign up and put your cryptocurrency to work, you can get up to $250. Before I go, if you like this video, can you please help me out with the YouTube algorithm and just leave a like and maybe if you're generous, comment on it as well. This will help me out tremendously. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.